Okay, today, ladies and gents, we're going to be talking about how to draw a golf ball in Affinity Designer. So uh, recently on my how to uh, draw a 3D ball in Affinity Designer um, and Zara uh, video, I had a request for a tutorial on how to create a golf ball in Affinity Designer. Okay, so very quickly... Uh, if you've already watched the uh, the 3D ball, then you already know uh, most of what I'm going to do here. So the first thing I did was I drew a, uh, a circle, uh, made it uh, relatively white. Let's uh, just make sure that that's as white as possible. Uh, and then cloned that circle and uh, uh, moved it off to the side. The moving it off to the side is not ne really necessary, but it, I just wanted to, to show you here for demonstration purposes. Um, and um, basically what I'm doing there is uh, I'm going to, I created that and gave it a solid purple uh, um, color, went over here and, uh, um, I'm sorry, the next thing I did was I, I went and uh, gave it a transparency, all right? And uh, I made that a radial transparency. Uh, I went ahead and just dragged it, uh, went both handles uh, to be within the, uh, um, within the circle, all right? And then after I did that, I went ahead and applied a luminosity uh, um, type to it. Okay, and the interesting thing about that is when I take this and move it back over the other circle, you're going to see that that purple goes away and it gives you a 3D effect over the other circle. Okay, uh, don't worry about this shadow right now. We're going to get to that later. All right, but let me move this back over for now. And what I did, uh, so after I, I drew these two circles and got this all, all set up, uh, the next thing I did was I drew this, a, a tiny circle here that you can barely see. I'm going to zoom in on that really quickly. Uh, and move it over to the center a little bit. And what I did here, again, I'm just creating more or less a white circle and gave it a, uh, uh, an elliptical fill or a, a radial fill sorry so I'm gonna select this look at the fill and I gave it a white to a slightly darker gray to a much darker gray again this is a an, an ellipse I'm sorry this is a uh, um, a radial fill and I did this in the opposite direction of the uh, the shadowing on the, the, the larger circle. On the larger circle, it got darker to the bottom right and lighter to the top left. Here it gets darker to the top left and lighter to the bottom right. So once I've created one of these, then I just cloned it, basically copied and pasted it and moved it off to the side. So something a lot like this, Control C, Control V, and then hold down the shift key and tabbed over, or right arrow over a couple times. And then control C, control V, right air, uh, shift, holding down the shift key and right a couple of times. Control C, control V, doing like this, right? Um, once I've had a few of those, then I grab that and hit control C, control V, and I move them down and over. Right, I had to play around with that to get it in the right spot and not holding the shift key down anymore. Now I'm just moving things the way I want them. Okay, so with that done, right, then I just continue to do that and grab this, control C, control V, right, and continue to make as many of those as I needed. So. Let me zoom back out again. All right, and I'm going to get rid of those for now because I don't need them anymore. 
And I'm going to show you how many of those that I actually created by um, unhiding this group, right? So I, here's my circle here, by the way. Let me give it a slightly darker color again just so you can see it. There we go. Now, let me unhide those. And you can see that I created enough of those dots so that they would cover completely this circle. Okay, and once I've done that, and I group them all, I, you don't have to, but it makes it much easier to, to deal with them once you've got them all created, if, if you group them. Then I just grabbed this group over here in the layers gallery off to the right and moved it slightly underneath and to the right of my white ellipse, and then just let it go. Now they are all inside of that ellipse. And you can see that this looks a lot more like a golf ball. So let me go to, to this ellipse again. Let me make that a little bit wider. And then now all I have to do is take my shadow, right, my 3D portion of this, and bring it over the top of that. Right? Just center it over the top, and then I'm pretty much done. Then, um, this is completely not necessary, but you can do it if you want to grab this and uh, give it a, an effect. You can apply a Gaussian blur, right? That, uh, that just f fuzzes it a little bit, and it makes it look a little bit better. All right, and then on the bottom, I just created one last ellipse. Uh, and created, um, this I gave a much greater Gaussian blur, but also created a, uh, um, an elliptical transparency uh, and just kind of centered it where I wanted it um, and uh, dragged the, the handle. This was originally something more centered, right, like this. Just moved it over to, to where it was going to be under the golf ball, the dark portion of it, and then dragged this out so that it went all the way to the edge. Right? Then I added my Gaussian blur over here under effects, and that, as they say, is pretty much that. You can still play with this a little bit. You can scoot it underneath it a little bit more. Right, whatever. You can play with that to your heart's content. But uh, that's pretty much how you do it, how you create a 3D golf ball in Affinity Designer. Uh, I hope that was useful and interesting to you um, and you liked the video. And maybe you'll come back and visit us again sometime soon. All right, thanks a lot.